trying something a little different today. Um, we're gonna be for React Core just having a laugh, less less judgmenting, and more just having a laugh with the OP at a restaurant's expense. So we're at a subreddit here called uh, We Want Plates, and and We Want Plates is for restaurants that serve food in unorthodox ways. I mean, you can see the about community. We want plates. Crusades against serving foods on bits of wood and roof tiles, chips in mugs, and drinks in jam jars. Uh, by the way, you ever feel like your uh, computer's spying on you? We said the words only fans like 20 times in the last React court. Guess what our advertisement's for? You mind a Bitcoin's in there, you little shit? Friend of mine went to a restaurant and their starter came in a book. Okay. Is this, this is just pictures of the food to be, uh, 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 <laughs> what is this? Okay, so there's like some, some pancetta or some, <laughs> is this a charcuterie board? Oh, uh, okay, this is, I understand what they're going for here. Um, but also it seems like kind of, I, I get what they're going for, but it seems kind of disgusting. Okay. So what, what appears to be happening here is, you know, sometimes you, and this happens, okay? You go out to a restaurant, you get charcuterie, they bring out the board, and they hit you with an info dump. This is uh, Tillamook cheddar cheese from Wisconsin. This is, uh, oh, this is uh, Casamarsa that we got from Sicily. This is blah, blah. This is uh, Hungarian black pepper salami. And they're hitting you with, yeah, 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 yeah. And there's the din of the music. And you're like, I don't know what any of this stuff means to begin with in the first place. So the idea that you have, sorry, from Oregon, Tillamook from Oregon, I apologize. Um, the idea that as you were like eating, you could follow what you were eating with some context could enhance the dining experience, but is absolutely disgusting that the meat is just wedged between pieces of paper and then like is greasing up a, a, a little, you know, fat trap there. It's just, and even just, it's already gross to peel sticky pages. But then to peel sticky pages and eat the the food that resides inside of it just seems uh, very unappetizing to me. Like that that peel is not satisfying. That's I I, I give that a zero out of ten. And may God have mercy on your soul. Can you just and I, this is maybe a little too techy for dining. Can you just have like an app? Like, they already have the QR code menus at so many places. Can't you just scan the QR code and it would give you, like, a list of the things you're eating or they could bring you a piece of paper or something like that? I don't... Like, why don't I just put the meat on, like, a traditional board and then bring, like, an info sheet or something? Uh, that's crazy. Or just bring the board. But anyway. Friend's mother went to a restaurant and got a glass of pasta upside down. You know, it, in every uh, cook's life, I think you struggle with presentation, you know? I, I've, I've had some culinary sins before in my life. Uh, I, I used to sometimes marinate a steak in Budweiser, thinking that that was like a really cool guy, sophisticated thing to do is like, oh, waste a beer marinating a steak. Shit beer turned into shit steak, honestly. Um, one, of the, one of the meals I cooked all the time in like my second year of college was like a chicken breast, slap it on the George Foreman grill, then salsa on top of the chicken breast, and then cheddar cheese on top of the salsa, and then just squeeze that George Foreman grill down as hard as I could. So I'm, I'm sure that there... I've, I've done some questionable things when it comes to food and food presentation. Um, this is just one of those things where you're like, why? I don't like any food where, like, to me, this just looks like a liability. Like, when you take the glass off, 
I'm worried that you'd have to make sure like that you got your hands ready so that the pasta doesn't go off of the board and onto the table. Like I want you, part of the reason I'm at the restaurant is because I want you to like plate the food for me. It's a small part, but like at the same time, I don't want to be held responsible for something like this. I also really, I doubt that this could possibly do anything but be negative for the actual quality of the food. Like, I, I can't really see what we're looking at here. I'm assuming these are pine nuts, and this is perhaps some mozzarella. Uh, I don't know what that is. It's kind of hard to tell. But there's no way that these served deconstructed could possibly match up to what they're supposed to be when they're put together. You think it's just... I was thinking it was bread. I didn't want to make myself seem like... Uh, so uncultured as to suggest that this was just like a weird breadstick. Um, also bad. Oh, it just looks, this is like it. what you serve in your college household when you're like, I want to do some cool presentation, but all I got is a bunch of cups that the previous tenants left us with. This is horrible. Um, the juices dripped onto my legs through that nice crack in the board. So this is like a, a deconstructed burrito bowl or something. I think. <laughs> Spring mix, rice, black beans, chicken breast, and like a, a half of a thick pineapple slice. Served on a board, which would already be annoying to eat because you know that this stuff is gonna, uh, like, it's, this is something designed to be like mixed in a bowl and then eaten, but then served on a board that has a hole in it on top of a table that is made of holes. Just, uh, th this is the kind of stuff that you see on the show, like Bar Rescue, and you just go like, you know, come on. Like, you, you gotta read, some, you have to have someone eat this at your restaurant before you put it on the menu. This is just like an awful experience. Pineapple also not peeled. Now also, th something that annoys me, like, I don't mind when you have, uh, like a little garnish for presentation but like if you're going to include i don't know if this is like a, a balsamic reduction or something like that like include enough that it actually has a meaningful impact like so much of it is lost on the wood to begin with then on the pineapple you may or may not eat because it's not peeled anyway and then just like a line lazily over the middle like give your head a shake so i i finally found one that I think is funny, but it's not so bad. $12 gin and tonic served in a Subway ingredient tub. And it appears that they brought the tonic to the table and then you poured it in yourself. This is stupid, but <laughs> at the very least, it's not like... I mean, at least it's a drink, I guess, is what I'm saying. It's not, it's not like inedible just because of what they put it in it's kind of dumb but it, it doesn't offend me it also doesn't interest me but i would also i know people are i'm assuming this is america okay so 12 dollars is expensive to begin with canadian dollar is weaker and also and canadian alcohol taxes are higher so the alcohol is more expensive but i would tell you that 12 dollars canadian is about what i would expect to see for a gin and tonic like I mean, admittedly, I guess it's a mixed drink and not really like a cocktail. But if you look at the cocktail menu for like a sit-down restaurant, you're you're really looking at like, you know, I, I would say above, if it's not happy hour, you're looking at above $9, $10 for pretty much everything. So the the price doesn't offend me. The The glassware is comical, but it, you know, it, at least it's not inedible as a result. My beef Guinness pie. This, on the other hand, is absolutely heinous uh, for many reasons. Let me count the ways. The first one is, uh, and and I'm not English. So, by the way, what is it like a little octopus over there? Or is that a hot dog cut in the shape of an octopus? Um, I'm not English, okay? And I love broccolini. So you, you got me there. You got me on the broccolini. I'm a big fan. Uh, typically, this 
is a dish that would not be mixed together, right? It would be like kind of filling on the bottom and then mashed potatoes on the top. And then you would take a spoonful and eat it like, like that. That's correct. It's not meant to be mixed together. Okay, so here's my question. One, and it's a multi-part one. Sorry, I, Guinness is in English, but like this, to me, this just looks like England. <laughs> this does not necessarily look like it's served at the at the Guinness uh, brewery itself. But um, here's what I'm saying. So, do they want you to use the spoon to try to cut, like a to dip a cross section out and eat it out of the glass? Because if so, I have a lot of problems. One being the filling the potato ratio is all fucked up. Like you want that to be a little wider because otherwise it's like, I mean, it's just too damn tall, right? And then the other one would be, you know, do you scrape it out of the glass onto the plate? In which case it wouldn't be mashed potatoes on the top anymore. It would be mashed potatoes on the bottom. I get it also, by the way. Like, you're supposed to <laughs> drop a shot of Jameson in here and chug it all. <laughs> yeah, can I, get a, can I get a beef Guinness pie boiler maker, please? Can I get a Guinness pie bomb? Can you imagine? Honestly, I have a strong, like, imagination stomach, and just thinking about trying to chug something with this consistency made me a little sick to my stomach. Um... Anyway, it just, I, I get that this is supposed to look like a beer, but this is one of those ideas you'd see on Kitchen Nightmares where you're like, the chef would be like, so get this, it's Guinness pie, but we put it in the cup to look like a Guinness pint. And I think Gordon Ramsay would be like, have you ever thought about the radical idea of just making it like look normal and taste good instead of, you know, I don't go to a restaurant to be like, wow, the food that I'm eating looks like one of the things it's made with. Anyway, um, I love the broccolini. Also, the, the considering that this presentation, and I'm not saying it's inspired in a good way, but they, they put some thought into this. The rest of it is so embarrassing. You know, for, for the spectacle of this pint glass of Guinness, it's just like a little spoon and a bunch of, you know, broccolini sitting on the side. Like, it just looks so depressing. The long spoon is also, it's kind of like prison, right? Like, this, this looks like, a, like an airplane spoon or something, but, oh, man. How am I supposed to eat this? Is this a challenge? <laughs> okay, this. At first, I was like, I've seen some flaming dishes before in my life, but when the wind picks up and it started... <laughs> It actually like the, the flames get like a like a six inch uh, spread on them when the wind picks up. That's a little much. I guess you gotta like you gotta reach in over the top to try to grab it. Plin plin plon. Yeah, that that sucks. It's very funny though. Yeah, I guess you 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 just gotta wait for the server to like I don't know put it out or something. It's it's very this this seems like serious liability. Oh, this next one is gross, man. <laughs> Our corn chips were served in a rusty bucket. This one's pretty self-explanatory. I don't know what you could even uh, comment upon on this one, but imagine imagine getting to the bottom of the corn chips and it's just the bucket's all rusted out. Oh man, they ate it. I might eat it too, honestly. Like I, I, I could get over myself for this one, but like, maybe it's not rust. Okay, maybe it's seasoning, but you, you gotta get. I mean, it looks a lot like rust for one. Whether it looks like shit is maybe just as imp maybe not just as important, but you know, it. You get the idea. It's definitely rust. I'm just saying, like, if, if, if it looks like a bird crapped on your food, then, you know, even if they're like, oh, it's not bird crap, it's aioli, you'd be like, uh, you know, there's seeds in it. Dude, I mean, that's just reprehensible, but... Pasta flight ended up everywhere? This is just idiocy. 
Um, how on earth are you supposed to eat this? The noodles are hanging over the flight before anyone's even dug in, presumably. Is there a realistic way that someone could actually consume this? Without causing an enormous mess? Not everything needs flights, you know? Like, I get that it's like a trendy thing. Drinks, it makes sense. You know, they don't take up a whole lot of space. They come in their own self-contained glassware, but... You know, you don't, you don't need a pass the floor. Or maybe at least, you, if you, I think if you want to do this idea, you got to come up with, like, proprietary cookware or, or flatware, you know? You need to have, like, a little holder that has, like, five tiny bowls in it or something like that. You, you can't just stick it on a, on a cutting board and call it a day. I mean, pasta is basically like a liquid. Like, if you don't have it contained, it spills. I, I guess it's shareable, but even then, it's not like someone's taking one, someone's taking the other. You're all grabbing from the center. It's just, what, a, what a mess. They actually gave me a nonstick pan instead of a plate. That's, uh, like, criminal negligence. Like, you can't... You shouldn't have to pay... Excuse me. Auto Autoplay ads on Reddit? I'm very happy with my existing stock brokerage, okay? Pay extra for up to the minute stock quotes. If you're trading, you need prices in real time. I know, I know Quest Trade. I know what you're saying. You're saying, well, simple is a 15 minute delay on all of their stock quotes unless you pay for the diamond membership, which is, which is $3 a month. Yeah, okay. Quest Trade was also charging $9.99 a trade until recently when Wild Simple put some pressure on them to do commission free trades, okay? Exclamation point, Wild well, Thank you. Exclamation point, Wild well, Simple at chat. Appreciate it. Let's. I'm not going to mute the tab because there are some video players, but, but anyway. Um, you are not supposed to use metal. Uh, on a nonstick pan. So I, I, I worry that you would be eating Teflon in this situation. Even if they don't cook in the pan and they just serve it in the pan, I don't know if Teflon has to be hot for it to be scraped off, but either way, I would... this. I'm not that picky, honestly, but this would make me uncomfortable as a diner if they if they served me this i would be like i don't know if i'd ask for a plate i might just leave <laughs> pay and leave but anyway seen on a friend's instagram immediately thought of this sub yes this is disgusting this appears to be a dessert that's just served on the table i i don't know what it is for one. Um, you know what it look? It looks like you 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 were carrying a cob salad and then fell over. <laughs> like, do you do you eat it by scraping your spoon on the on the the stone table? It just seems kind of irritating, honestly. I also don't... Uh, you, you think the table is, is the dessert? Like it's a white chocolate table? I gotta be honest. I would lose my mind if I was at a restaurant and they were like, you know that thing you've been eating off the whole time? That is your dessert. I would be extremely impressed. I would be like, what the hell? That's incredible. This is a famous restaurant in Chicago called, called Alinea. Oh, it's okay. I mean, I, I, this probably costs like 300 bucks plus. I have eaten at some fancy restaurants. I've never eaten at a three Michelin star restaurant, admittedly. Um, so my tolerance for like hoity-toity, old cuisine, you know, we, we served you uh, a, a nugget of sable fish with an upside down glass and like synthetic smoke on top of it so that we bring it to your table. We go like this and the smoke goes out and you go, ooh, you know, like it, my, my tolerance for that stuff is I think higher than the average person's at least. This still irritates me. 
But here's what I'm going to say. I would at least like to know what the service looks like alongside of this, okay? If if they just come out and they're like, you know, plonk, here you go. But if there's like a little flourish at the table or something like that, maybe for a once in a lifetime experience. I don't know if I'd want to eat it though. It'd be more like, you know, just being at Cirque du Soleil. It definitely does not look appetizing. I'll, I'll give you that. It was great. The dessert is a show. I can see that. Like, if we're judging it based on the food, I'm like, it looks kind of stupid. Uh, the The show part might make it more interesting, but, I mean, at least it's not this. I don't know what to say about this. This appears to be maybe some kind of Ice cream sundae served in an absolutely enormous spoon. <laughs> just why everyone's saying just a spoonful? Is this a, is this a known restaurant or something? It's it's a visual joke. Oh, it's a ah the king batch vine. That's right. Okay, I forgot. But that backflip, though. I just, like... Look, there's just things that are throwing me here, okay? One is, this seems like the kind of thing you would see at, like, a like a very cheeky restaurant where, like, you take a 13-year-old for their birthday and they give you a sundae and, like, a hat on your birthday. But then what, what's messing with me more than anything else, like, the spoon is obviously strange. Um... But then the white tablecloth, which is like kind of, uh, you know, one level up on the dollar sign scale, insinuates that this is a place that thinks they're a little bit fancy, at least. And then the fact that there's like a martini glass right next to them. It's just like, I, I, I'm just wondering, like, what's the vision of this place? Is this like a, a place that you go to for a fancy event to celebrate like an anniversary dinner or is a place where you go to and like all the waiters call you a cocksucker or something like is it one of those themed restaurants like the guy's wearing a hoodie like i don't know is the burger seven feet tall or it, when you order an appetizer is it 20 bucks for like you know three scallops or something like that i don't know i don't know what they're doing here I don't like this. The, the reason I don't like this mostly is because I wonder, like, if somebody's sitting across from you, like, aren't you inconveniencing them just to eat a Sunday? It's not a huge deal. It's just, <laughs> does one does one server carry this out? Or, like, is this a multiple, multiple servers have to carry it out? Like, I, I don't know, like a, a Robert Munch children's book cover or something? Pasta sauce bread in a wire cone. Serious, like, just why energy radiating off of this how am i supposed to eat this it looks like it just looks fucking horrible how are you supposed to eat it <laughs> it's the worst one yet it's just disgusting like are you supposed to eat it with a knife and fork or do you grab it with your hands Can you imagine eating a calzone but like inside of the calzone is <laughs> it's a bunch of noodles and fettuccine Alfredo, man. I think I would. I think I would straight up throw up. To be honest with you, I don't think I could do it. Terrible. It's just a terrible idea. I'd send this back. This replaced an amazing restaurant in my town that was killed by COVID. All right. I. So it's a, It took me a second. This is a salad. There's some romaine lettuce inside of the head. There's uh, some deconstructed croutons and a little, th a little Roman arch full of, uh, full of dressing. I don't know. Do you assemble it in the head and eat it? Do you remove everything from the plate and then put it on the plate and eat it? It is. It's vaporwave aesthetic, right? It's a head, head of lettuce, get it? It's a jump to conclusions, Matt. 
you assemble it in your stomach? It, I, I, would, I wouldn't send it back because I feel like there's no way the restaurant is going to serve you a Caesar salad inside of an old bust of Antigone and not have a photo of it or at least a description on the menu. Like, I think if you order, if you're like, I'll take the Caesar salad and then this came out, you would be like, okay, come the fuck on. Like, that's just ridiculous. But I, I think you got, they must be advertising what you're getting into here. Two, put your beef in that box. Can I tell you, this is the one so far that I'm like, not only does this offend me the least, I'm like, this seems fine to me. This, my, my take on this is that this is maybe a super serious steakhouse. Maybe you order the beef by the ounce or something like that. And then it comes out with a little bit of spectacle as, as such. I'm, I'm not like, oh, that's cool. But I'm like, I, I guess I get it. This one doesn't actually... I mean, it, it, I mean, if we're comparing this to... This. Like, look at this shit. This is just an abomination. This is just, like, weird. It's, they could have just given you a plate... I'm sure th I, that's not, people were like, it's newspaper. That's not newspaper. That's like custom printed butcher paper. It's, I, 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 admittedly, I'm probably seeing it in higher fidelity than you are on the stream right now. But like, I get that it's pretentious, don't get me wrong. But you know, you're at a place where realistically, I bet you're probably, this, this much beef here is probably like 60 bucks minimum. So you're kind of like, you know, you get what you pay for. This doesn't offend me. It's, it, I, I might roll my eyes. I think that's a good way to describe it. I might roll my eyes, but I would be like, oh, it, it, it looks good. Steak pie in a jar. The next, okay, this is horrible, obviously. Like, I, I just, it, so much of it is... I'm I'm not insulting the fries, okay? Because the fries, I think, is just classic, like, English chips. Maybe I'm used to other stuff. The hastily arranged, like, untrimmed green beans is giving me a certain vibe. And then the necessity that absolutely everything will be mixed together no matter what when you take this out of the jar is a little... Oh, there's snow peas. Sorry. My mistake. My mistake. Still. It's just a... And then... I, this is maybe a little snobby. Um, it's hard to tell from the, the photos a little overexposed. They definitely took this with the flash on or this is a high school gymnasium. Uh, I hate when you get served like a really saucy food in a pretty flat plate. Just give, give some flatware that has like a, a raised edge so that I'm not constantly babysitting like a pile of gravy to make sure it goes off the table. But this is like nothing compared to shoe boba. What do you think you would start with here? Do you think you would start with uh, the heel or... You, see, you know what it is? It's nice that you could actually... Uh, you could share this. Maybe with like someone that just wanted to try boba for the first time ever. You could be like, I'll take the, the toe and you can take the heel. See if you like it. This is... I, I have to imagine that this is more expensive than it deserves to be. Plus, you're absolutely right. Shoe Boba, I believe, was Anakin Skywalker's nemesis from the first Star Wars uh, pod racing scene. Kids food on DVD case. Photo from restaurant's Instagram page. It's a testament to how bad a lot of these ones were, like, at the very top, that this one is just, like, uh, stupid. Yes, plus, uh, this is VHS, please. Um, Zoomers. <laughs> um, but, like, this is just dumb. There's shoe brushes in the back. <laughs> what the heck are these, man? I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what those are for. It's, it gives new meaning to sweeping someone off their feet. Sweeping someone on their, on my feet. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, this is just... I mean, I don't have anything else to say. This is just dumb. 
is it, it's a very minor sin in comparison to the pasta cone. A bottle of fish. So this appears to be some kind of smoked fish appetizer. It, I, I'm kind of with Chad on this one. A little silly, but it looks not that bad. I, I, I wouldn't, I would bat an eye at this for sure. I would be like, look at that, our fish came in a little bottle. And then I'd laugh about it. But I, I don't think I would be like, oh, this is crazy. We want seats? Okay, that's, that just seems like really uncomfortable. These are sh snow shovels that have been turned into bar stools. It honestly just seems like painful. I'm assuming they like rounded the edges or something like that, but oh yeah, and pitchforks for the back. Just like this not designed to be sat on. Crepes served as babushka barbe. The thing that is so great about this is that it's being weighed at like the grocery store right now. Like, this is not a restaurant serving this. Like, are you at the deli counter and you're like, hey, give me one of those babushka barbes? Or is this... <laughs> I've never... I got to start going to different... Uh, to different grocery stores. Hey, can I get... Uh, can I get 300 grams of babushka barbe, please? I don't hate it. Like, it's, it's weird. Don't get me wrong. But I, I, kinda, I don't hate it. Removing splinters with greasy fingers. This one I do hate. Go to art galleries. Excuse me. Who do this advertisement? Our worst enemy. Oh, wait. This is not an advertisement. This is actually... That's a video about them. They're going to serve a dish on a painting, man. Removing splinters with greasy fingers. This just bothers me because it really... Like, I get that it's rustic, and I got to say, the fish actually looks pretty dynamite to me. Um, but being served in just like a, a... I don't even know what to call it. Like, there's splinters coming off of it. There's, like, open staples and stuff like that just sitting out. Like, it, the food looks great, but it also looks like... A, you know, dangerous. Like, I don't want, I don't want the danger. By the way, this is a video, I think, of the food that we laughed at earlier. It almost, we were limited to scale that was determined by plate manufacturers. I mean, this is anti-DMCA technology. Why not a tablecloth that we can eat off of? Okay, so they roll, they roll out an edible tablecloth, perhaps. Why do you have to eat with a fork or a spoon? And why does it have to be served on a plate or a bowl? Why can't we come up with something? Nobody's stopping you, man. Ooh, it makes me so mad. My father was a stalwart member of the plate industry and you're taking money out of my child. You can't do that. Look, I'm just going to be honest. This is a problem for me because it's at like the intersection of art and mess. And I don't really know how to appreciate either. Um, this is aggravating. Soft shell beef and chicken tacos in a glass. I mean, why? Yes. Also, also bad, I think. Tacos, they all, the worst part of a taco is the mess to begin with. Everything else is beautiful. The mess is some, uh, mildly annoying sometimes. But to make it even more messy, I don't even... I'm, like, I'm also just weirding out. Like, what's going on? Like, what is this fold here? Is this the bottom of the taco folded up? Or is it... Is there another tortilla down there? I don't even... It's so much guacamole. It's served at the bar top like you're going to eat it with your hands. I just... You, they, surely they don't want you to take it out, take a bite, and put it back in, because it's all going to fall apart. Once you pick up a taco, that's a commitment to not putting it down until you finish the taco. 
breakfast in an egg carton. So I'm not like a super snob about food, but the toast looks absolutely horrible. It It's toasted like two out of 10 on one side and zero out of 10 on the other. Let me hydrate for a moment. Then in the egg carton, I see a cherry. I see what I'm assuming to be Nutella. And then I see orange stuff, red stuff, and brown stuff, which I don't even know, man. Like, I, I'm assuming they're just strange kinds of jams. That looks bad to me. I would have thought we'd be getting down to the dregs by now, but maybe not. Served on a cleaver. Look, again, it's it's brazen, but at least it's it's plate like. Flattened chips due to the weight. This has got to be like you know, try the spiciest chicken tender we've ever served. It's served in a in a chrome skull. Don't give me a HelloFresh ad. Okay, before we move on here. We got to check top all time. Because top of the month had like many great posts. Top all time, I'm ready. You're going to lose it. Most expensive restaurant I've ever been to. Chef literally made the starter in our hand. Now, earlier I said I have a tolerance for hoity-toity alt cuisine nonsense. At its best, I think it's, you know, experimenting with stuff that the economy of scale simply will not let happen at a smaller and cheaper restaurant. I understand. And, you know, there's situations like you can go to super nice sushi restaurants. A sushi chef will make, like, you don't even order, basically. You just go, give me, give me the service. They make one thing in front of you and put it on a plate and you eat it immediately. That's totally fine. I can't understand a reason why the chef would make the starter in your hand. Maybe I'm just being close-minded to the sensory uh, aspect of it, but I, I just don't understand what gives this a benefit over the plate. I, the great restaurant to be a dishwasher at, though, let me tell you. Hibachi? It, well, if he flipped it into your mouth or something like that, then sure. If, if he made this and then he went like, Whoop, and it just popped into my shirt pocket, I would be like, this guy's incredible. Dinner and a show and for only, for only $500. The reason they give is because of the salt on your palm. I actually like just fucking hate that, to be honest with you. I'm sure they make you like wash your hands or something before you do it so that you don't shit your pants if you've got bad hygiene habits. But like, I don't want to eat the salt off of my hand. That's what the chef is there for. First patio since COVID, and this is what I get. I told the owner I'm going to post this on the sub, and he said he would bring it to me on a plate next time if the sandwich blew up. Look, this, this was social engineering. This is bad, but it's not that bad. It, it got upvotes because they fished for it. It's not, it's not good, but it's, it's not nearly as bad as, as serving it in your hand. How about, dude, there's so many of these. Slop table for 20, please. Here's some bone marrow, pesto. Is it, is it polenta, maybe? Black truffle sauce just served right on top of the... Slop them up! Parmesan? 
I'm waiting for when he screams. Oh, what the? Oh, oh, hey, bam. Bam. Breadcrumbs. I just, this entire thing can feed 20 people or six raccoons and cost $55 per person. It's just like, come on. My bread was served inside roadkill. Yeah, okay, that's pretty disgusting. Um, I don't think it's genuine roadkill, but it is. I don't want to eat bread out of a fur pocket. Apologies. Due to manufacturing issues, we're running very low on wooden skillets. Therefore, most meals will be served on plates. The saddest story ever told. <laughs> oh, no. You know what? We'll just leave instead. This is uh this is something I don't get. So obviously this is one of the worst examples you'll ever see of it cuz it's not even a drink. Uh but like I always sometimes you'll eat at a restaurant and you'll order your food and then you'll see them walk by like 2 seconds later with a bloody mary that's uh got like an entire sandwich as a garnish and that's when I've realized that I've all like I shouldn't be here but it's already too late like I've already ordered like just it's like when you go to see a horror movie or something like that you just got to you just got to ride it out when you accidentally breathe in too deep you leave it in your lungs too long and then it hits you 4 seconds later you're like there's no going back you just got to ride it out. But this is horrible. Like, this is just... You know what this reminds me of? The, the video where Kinoshita Yuka uh, took an entire, like, McDonald's meal, including a Coke, and then put it inside of a rice cooker and then steamed it and ate it with a fork. And even though, like, I've seen her eat, like, 20,000 calories of slop, she's always like, mmm, the savoriness is delicious. Even that one, she was like, this is not good it was like the least enjoyment i've ever seen her glean from uh from a meal um this i it has the same vibe i just don't understand this is like the they made flatware that you can eat off of th like this this stuff i don't the syrup is already going down his arm so this one, can I tell you, there's almost an element of this. I, I mean, you shouldn't be serving this on such a narrow contraption. But simultaneously, the guy is holding it up to take a photo, okay? And the lady is like, are you sure? <laughs> it looks good. I still think it should be on a plate, but he is holding it like up like this. So I can understand like um, I I put that at that's his responsibility on that one. This looks like New York to me. Am I wrong? He it does appear like he's in a crosswalk as well. My boyfriend was just served a bloody mary in a fry basket. Basically, just, like, I don't like bag drinks at the best of times, but usually when they have, like, a Capri Sun hole and then you just poke the straw through, I'm like, at least it's kind of a cup. Um, but this looks like it's just literally a bag, and then you take a clothespin off and drink it with a straw. I hate that, man. The other thing about a bag is, like, it's not designed to drink liquid straight out of the bag. Liquid gets trapped in like certain pockets and folds and stuff like that. You know, a rigid vessel allows you to get it out more easily because you're not fighting against the the container in which it's in. It's just it's just unnecessary, you know? At least it, it's unique at least. But give me the at least the gin and tonic one was like a rigid structure. But it, for the most part, drinks in weird vessels is not as bad as trying to eat off of an irregular plate. My wife's cocktail was served in a hollow stone and had to be drunk through the hole without a straw. Okay, so the, immediately I take back my words. Um, this is just a spill waiting to happen. 
The hole is so big, too. Just with the straw, like, it's okay. Yeah, I'd like to see what's in my drink, maybe, as well. Could just be, like, a Bud Light Lime in there. It's just weird. Okay, that's just... It's a troll post. That's fine. Horrifying. Oh, man. It, it, they were right. I do not like this. This is... Uh, this is served on a napkin. I don't know what it is. It's some kind of canapé. Maybe, maybe it's like a, a, a salmon tataki or something. But, but why on the napkin, you know? I just like... <laughs> it's just weird. <laughs> not a plate, but this hip sitting rail at a new burger place is too crazy to not show. It, yes, I also would not like that. Oh, another one served on your, your hand. Cheese foam that is spooned on, onto the back of your hand by the waiter, and then you have to lick it off. Amazing. They carried my bill out on a typewriter. <laughs> I hate that shit, man. <laughs> oh, this is the one that just... I'm like, the dinner's over. I just want to get the hell out of the restaurant. You're dragging over a damn typewriter. Servers have biceps, like, bulging out of their sleeves. Come on, man. Do it. Hey, uh, when it comes over, I don't need the machine. <laughs> I do need the machine, though. It's 2021. Uh, oh, man. That's, that's just needless. I guess I'm not supposed to eat my soup. <laughs> oh. I think what makes this subreddit so great is that like every single one of them is just like, but why? You could have just put it in a bowl. Hello. New kicks. Well, new shoes. Look at this. Hello, honey. Okay, this is a it's a subreddit for restaurants serving things in stupid ways. What the heck is that? Someone I knew got her food on some kind of bone. That's a just bone? that's just a big old bone. I don't even know what that's. Maybe it's from a cow or a horse. <laughs> elephant? <laughs> if they got an elephant, like, <laughs> that's an elephant pelvis or something. That's crazy. Da. La la. Mm. La. Ah, apple pastry served on an image of a plate on an iPad. That's, That's tacky. That is tacky. I, I couldn't agree with you more. It's, they're almost taunting you with the image of a plate. La la. La. La 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 la. I mean, is it satire? Yeah, but I don't want satirical food. I don't want my food to be a parody. I just want it to be, you know, food. <laughs> Ravioli on a clothesline. Also, <laughs> it's pretty good, right? Also, also seems a little bit ridiculous. Ravioli on a clothesline. <laughs> That's pretty good. I don't think you... Uh, like, this is... If I worked here, I think I would be pissed. Because, I mean, for the diner, I think this is worse because the ravioli is punctured. Which is just, I would rather have them be pristine if possible. And it's definitely possible because you could just make a plate. But then the fact that the dishwasher has to wash eight clothespins every oh, time. I, I, I doubt they wash those. They gotta wash them, right? Like, I, I feel like they have to. This is this is an American uh, starter called fried ravioli. So they, they it you if you watch Kitchen Nightmares, you'll see it on like literally I would say half of the episodes. Whenever they're like Gordon comes in and is like, hey, "What's good here?" They're always like, "Oh, you gotta get the fried ravioli." It's it's like a, a little deep fried little pizza roll type thing, but um, it just uh, it's just so needless. Also, what is this? <laughs> Did they build this out of like an old slow, uh, sewing machine or something? 
I don't understand what, what it even is. Everything's a little too big. Oh, she just no. just her feet and they just came off. Oh, no. I watched my fries drift away because someone else <laughs> wanted fried zucchini. <laughs> what, the what the heck is this? The title is good. So it's, a, it's like a shareable platter, but instead of being a platter, it's on like a Ferris wheel. Yeah. Again, just, I mean, look. It's not that big. It's not, it's, it's funny. I mean, like, I, here's what I would say to OP on this one. I would just say, hey, you can wait a second for the fries. When they grab some zucchini, they, you can just pull it back around. It's weird. Like, I would prefer if it was just on a, you know, a, a plate of some sort. But sure, this is, you know, at least it works. Like, some of this other stuff. Even this, like, oh my God. that's probably Whistler. No. You don't think in Whistler they would serve you pizza on a snowboard? That sounds horrible. I could see it. Well, you know what? I've never seen this soda before, so it must be another part of the world. Um, that it's, I mean, it's kind of, it, you know what it is? Is like I just don't know what I'm looking at. Like, like it, I can't tell where the pizza ends and the board begins. Friend sent me this. I was not as impressed. Okay, so this is like the original, oh, okay. right? These are all iPads. That's. But why are they all plugged in? <laughs> you know, I bet they have the image of the plate underneath them when you <laughs> curry on a chopping board. This again, this is just idiocy. I don't know how many times we've been through this. Like, why do so many restaurants serve saucy food on a flat apparatus? And how? And then the rice on the side with all the crinkle cut carrots in it. And if any, it's not like this would be bad still. If they inverted it, like if they put the oh, if they put the curry in the bowl and the rice on the thing, at least you could spoon one bit of curry onto the rice and eat it. Yeah. And probably not spill so much, but la la la. La la la. She's like, you're you're blocking my view of myself. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Literally six nachos for the whole table. Look at this kid. <laughs> the kid is so like. <laughs> who, who thought of the? Uh, is it the same restaurant with the ravioli? <laughs> it might be. You can't use a clothespin on a brittle surface like this. Like it's gonna, it's gonna shatter your tortilla chips. That's not what it's built for. This is like drying your dishes on a clothesline. You're just begging for trouble. Again, I, I, I am not simply being like you know, obsessed with how the workers feel, but like for six tortilla chips, the workers, maybe they wash the clothespins, maybe they don't, but uh, they've got three sauce containers, three bespoke wooden spatulas. That's six things to wash just so that they can eat six tortilla chips. <laughs> she has contagious laughter going right now too. Like yeah. it's... <laughs> you scared her? Sometimes she fake laughs though. She goes ha 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 ha. <laughs> Another user stole my pick from a previous post here and made it to the front page. So here's the uncropped version. I don't know. I mean, what's what's? Am I missing something? It is like it's in a mug, Babu. That doesn't seem that bad. I think they got upvoted for the social engineering. That which is fine. This is getting out of hand. In a restaurant in Canada last night, I was served pudding on, and I wish I was joking, an ancient VHS copy of The Bodyguard. Oh, this is a bad pan. This is like what you would pee in at the hospital? Oh, what? That's gross. All right, that's, that's pretty gross. I needed more context on that. Hey, this is also dumb. I wonder where that is. I'm just going to guess that it's Toronto. I was supposed to say Quebec. <laughs> it, it's probably Kelowna. <laughs> In Canada. Ooh, I, hey, hey, I don't want to get uh, DMCA John Cena, 20th Century Fox. Okay, anything I have to click on for context? No, thank you. I do like this, though. $70 ahead luncheon, have some butter on a rock. The most awful thing ever. Broco oh <laughs> broccoli 
broccoli impaled on a metal thing? I, uh... Supposed to be a tree or something. I just don't understand why. It's just insane. Love it when sand gets in my soup. That's... You, they, it, I mean, it's maybe it's edible sand. It's still... That's... I hate that. What is the purpose of that? I guess it's like a cool treasure hunt, you know? Like when you... When you get the dish, you get to go. You get to look for your soup, and then. The server. Mm, yeah, you might be right. Yeah, I, I hate that. <laughs> it better be the best soup I've ever had in my entire life. Overcooked eggs served in the pan they were cooked in. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, that is a situation. <laughs> the food looks horrible. It's way, like, the, the service is terrible, but the food looks so bad. <laughs> I don't even understand this one. So this is the DJ known as Marshmallow. Uh, he's, he cut a head of lettuce in half, and he's throwing a bunch of spinach around it. <laughs> okay. Okay. And then, what happens next? Okay, he's, there you go. He, you thought he was going to make you eat that a whole head of lettuce, dummy. Thank God they're not doing this in the back. That would be so boring. Uh, what are they? I think it's like a, some some yellow making, peppers, some cucumbers. Are they making salad? This is a, it's a big salad. Some cherry tomatoes. Which I love how he dumped the cherry tomatoes like upside down to make sure they stayed in the middle. Everything else he's just like... <laughs> oh, and uh, uh, don't forget about the uh, the hearts of romaine, the 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 premium cut from the lettuce. We'll zest some lemon over. Oh, some lemon juice. Okay, you, you're gonna you're really not gonna zest that. I'm just gonna say it's kind of a lot of lemon juice for a salad, yeah. but I mean it's, he's really going. Oh, he went back for thirds on that one. Ah. Uh. Uh. Oh, and then oh, so it's the salt bay, the salt bay with the the salad knife. Okay, man, this just keeps going. Man, you're in the middle of a conversation or something like this, and then there, oh, your salad's here. Can you imagine <laughs> leaving your cell phone on the floor? <laughs> oh my god! Mm. I look at the guy. I think is like, please. <laughs> just can you take it away? What do they, what do you do when you're done with it? Do they just have like a scraper? Yeah, they come and right. scrape it into the trash can. Is parmesan? No, oh, what I don't even know what that is. Mushrooms, maybe. Olive. Oh, big big all. I think they're mushrooms, honestly. Really? Mystery meat. Those beans, rocks. <laughs> that sucked. <laughs> <laughs> These same tiles were in the bathroom. Okay. It has a plate, oh but my still. God. <laughs> it's also terrible. Um, so served on a, a plastic rat skeleton. Also, one of... I mean, this looks like a private event. Maybe this is like the Rat Enthusiast Association of North America. Because it is also probably the worst... <laughs> charcuterie platter I've ever seen in my entire life. See you. It's like a it's like a pint of cranberries and then cheddar, mozzarella, and brie, and then just like seven handfuls of crackers. Like it's yeah, it's don't get me wrong. If if you were like, do you want some? I'd be like, hell yeah. But if I got this from a restaurant, first off I would be like, this is ninety dollars and this is not what I expected. Okay, fake fake plate, but that's funny. So these MFers gave me a plate upside down. <laughs> annoying for sure. At least it fits in there, but it, annoying. A meringue served on a magically levitated pillow. This is just one of those things where you're like. This is not what I signed up for. Sure, I guess. 
some people have too much money. It's just, it's just weird. I mean, I gotta say, it looks actually edible and good, which is different than a lot of the things we've seen here, but it, it's dumb, that's fine. We got another, we got Hot Pot Barbies here. Oh, I've seen this! I saw this one on TikTok back in the day. Wow, just what I wanted, finger wine. This, this was like right at the start of COVID, I saw this video, and it made my head explode. That, I guess this is in the Czech Republic. The server just walks around and is like, do you want red or white? And then just <laughs> takes his finger off the gun. It's so good. Oh, man. Friend of mine went to a restaurant. Their starter came in a book. We saw that one. Fish are friends, not food. That's just a statement. Spaghetti bolognese in a bread cone, man. Look at that. I told you. They... They're, they're always... This has got to be the same place. It looks like the same presentation. I ordered a cocktail and the bartender started preparing it in a child's welly. Hold on. I speak Australian. I think this means that this drink is made in a child's shoe. Like a rain boot. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's, let's find one more. Get up to 16 free meals. I work as a dishwasher. I want plates, please. Thank you. I told you. I, I told you the servers are hating this more than, or the, the dishwashers are hating this more than anybody else. And then I got to look at this. Just go ahead and dump all my shrimp over some empty beer cans, please. It just absolutely looks just vile. By the way, did you know Modelo is the number one selling import beer in the United States of America. I don't know what I would have thought that it was, honestly. But uh, I, I would have thought Medela would be like in the top five for sure, but it's, it's number one. I had no idea.